Education leaders holding dueling news conferences today after the governor took aim at Tulsa Public Schools last night calling for an audit of the district. He says that request came from Tulsa Public Schools board members. Tonight we're hearing from those board members and the superintendent of TPS. Our Brady Halblive has been following it all from the beginning for us. Brady. Well, Karen, this comes just one day after the governor called out the district, accusing them of mishandling public funds and teaching critical race theory. Superintendent Dr. Deborah Giss says she welcomes an audit, but also thinks the governor's request is political theater. I'm going to do handle it like we handle everything, which is to dive in and do what we need to do. Yesterday, Governor Kevin Stitt called out the district for receiving more than $200 million in COVID relief funds, but staying closed longer than any other district in the state. Guess said his claims have no merit when it comes to the current investigation within the district. We have a very extensive amount of information, making sure that the public has access to what money we have received. Right now, there's an independent investigation regarding payments made to TPS employees by an out-of-state company called Snicklebox. Those payments amounted to a $20,000 loss to the district. For an incident that um, appears to be isolated, but of course need to understand that better. However, some board members disagree. Dr. Janetti Marshall says her concern over the district's mishandling of money is longtime standing, saying for years she has had concerns about the lack of background checks on outside vendors. I have continuously asked for bidder and company portfolios before a vote is conducted to ensure the board has full knowledge of potential vendor background. She also mentioned the district contracts hundreds of vendors, costing the district millions of dollars. To give vendors millions of dollars without knowing their capacity to deliver beneficial goods and services would be irresponsible. State Superintendent Joy Hofmeister, also a candidate for governor, said Stitt is diverting attention away from his dismal record on education. The governor has a pattern of retaliating against people who don't personally support his every whim. The school board members only addressed the financial audit Stitt requested. He also brought up allegations saying TPS violated state law by teaching critical race theory. Two News reported last month that the State Board of Education is investigating that allegation and called the specific language a close call. They recommended an accreditation with deficiency for the district. A final decision has not yet been announced. Brady Halblib, 2 News, Oklahoma.